Hi and welcome to my home. Today I wanted to take you on a quick tour through my apartment and by quick I mean really mean quick. At least I hope so. Because my apartment's really, really small. It's like only about one and a half rooms. What you see right here is my uh, front door. This is where you can enter into the apartment. Uh, maybe you can see that on the window there's these uh, weird uh, reflecting material. And this is still from the people who used to live uh, here before I moved in, which was about a year ago. And I didn't get to change it yet. I would like to could maybe put up some witch style curtains or something like that. Oh well. Um let's go over to my kitchen which is just on the left of the door. Here you go. On the far left there's my heater. It doesn't work all the time the way I want it to. Most of the time it's too cold, but that's okay because summer's coming now. Next I have my stove and I got some cute little uh, kitchen uh, <laughs> towels there. I just forgot about the word, stupid me. Um, I think I just got them um, a few days ago and I think the colors just fit my kitchen perfectly and I love them because they have little pears and cherries on them. I also got some blue and yellow ones of the same kind with blueberries and bananas. Then I got my cute little animal pots. I got them off a flea market or something like that. But they are pretty old already and also have some holes so I don't need use them for cooking anymore just as decoration. That's why I put them out today. Up there there's like bookshelf, um some cherry printed storing things. Next to it there's my cookbooks. I only own two of them. One is a vegetarian one that I got from my brother for Christmas because I have been a vegetarian for quite some time now and the other one is uh, one for making sweets, like pie or ice cream, something like that. I got it from my mom for my birthday some years ago. And next there's my little vintage 1950s uh, toothpick holders. An apple shape there by this uh, company either by Artco or Lefton I think. You can google it. They have loads of cute stuff. But I'm afraid you can't really see them so I will take one of them down. So Focus, please. So there you go, it's a little apple. And I got two of them, and that's why I pretend they're cherries because I love cherries. You will see. My kitchen's stuffed with cherries. Okay, then, well, I'll put it up again. I will tell you something about uh, the water bottle next to the. Um. To the cherries. Um, the front man of the subways threw it at a festival I was and my boyfriend caught it and gave it to me which was super nice. Yeah then there's my cupboards. I decorated them myself with wrapping paper. I'll go a little further away so you can see all of them. They're like in uh, red and pink colors. Then I got my handles, which I put there myself too. 
can see um yeah down there there's my pot holders uh yeah pink and red again little owl owls and just a normal red and white one and the walls I decorated myself too with these vintage style cherry pattern and also this and these amazing cherry handles down there next again there's something by Lefton like a cute little uh, bluebird although it's yellow sitting on a um, cherry tree or something like that um, there's my kitchen alarm clock I got it at an antique mall or something like that it was only one buck but it still works and I like the color yeah then there's my th sink nothing special and I don't know whether you can see but I got a heart shaped sponge that I love which I clean my dishes with then uh, there's a retro style scale and a toaster that's like the only thing that doesn't really fit that well into my kitchen but I will make it a cute little toaster cover that I found online and it's got will have cherries on it too then let's go over to my the dining area okay so my dining area is just right uh, off my front door and it's like all in the same room as you can see first I got my 1950s uh, clock which I love although it doesn't work um, yeah, because I don't have a key to, uh, what do you call that, well to make it work. And the decoration on the wall is from the people that used to live here before me t as well, but I really like it, so I kept that. Down there are some of my shoes, like only small ones, like big ones. Oh, my boyfriend's but he uh, hasn't come home yet even though like it's only my apartment but we are planning on moving in together soon but in a bigger apartment than but we didn't find uh, a good one yet so we're still searching then I put my coat on one of the chairs like I don't really like the chairs I will have to find them that will fit better. There's my table and I put on a pink polka dot tablecloth. There's a, like a can that I bought so I can just put in water. I like the color and I thought it was really funny with the lemon and stuff yeah there's one window and yeah there's apparently coming in quite much light in there then there you go uh, this is um, a vintage maybe 1940s maybe not that old lamp and it's similar to one that Dita Vantes has in her kitchen and it's got flowers, pink ones and green leaves and I have to put it up yet. Next to it there's my Art Deco uh, liquor set. Uh, it's this kind of 
rosy pinky color and I really love it. I got this off eBay. Yeah, I, there's some chocolate that I ate but I couldn't put away the paper because it's so cute and yeah. Right next to my dining table is my couch so you can tell um, that my home is really really small. And my couch is this kind of green color and it's vintage too, but I uh, um, got it for free on something similar to Craigslist. I just had to pick it up. And on my couch I got a little blanket and this owls on it and trees. I just love owls. And there's my computer. It used to be a laptop as you can see but the monitor broke so I had to replace it by another one. But I still want to keep it because I love the color. It's this dark cherry red. And as you can see it's sitting on a cardboard box which I sure have to change, but I apparently I found a fitting table, but it's still at my parents' house, and I'm not sure whether I will get it until I moved in with my boyfriend. Yeah, um, there's a little metal box sitting. It's kind of like a old lunch, like an old lunch box, and it's uh, shaped like a vintage radio and I thought this was really funny and I also like the color so I had to get it. Yeah, apparently that's me and my boyfriend on the PC in case you're wondering. And there's my TV and uh, sorry for the mess on the floor, it's really bad. Then here's my cupboard. I just love it. Um, it is vintage and probably 1940s or even older and I got it for only 20 bucks. It's not readily decorated but I got a little box with peacocks on it and some peacock feathers and in there are all of my vintage kitchenware like this plates for cake and stuff like that. I will come a little closer so you can see all of it. Oh! This is not good. I think I'll have to cut this. Up there I got some uh, Again, Lefton or Artco, I don't know, birds, some cute little bluebirds and an owl. And uh, they're sitting there because I didn't find a proper place for them yet. Um, I store some really, except from my kitchenware of course, I store some really not so interesting things in here. Except from my uh, uh, liquor. This is like my house bar. Also, you. There you go. This is all of my liquor. Ta da! And uh, there's peacock things, as I told you. And you can pull this out. And then you could make some liquor on it or something like that, like some cocktails. If you're having a cocktail party. So right next to my cabinet, there's the door that leads into my bedroom. Only I need to show you what I got down here. It's another of these flower vintage lamps um, and it's 
almost like the one that theaters have in her kitchen. But I didn't put up that one either yet. Uh, there's another lamp. I sometimes use this for lighting my videos. And there's my guitar. And before we go into my bedroom, I will really quickly show you my vintage armchairs. I got them for free too, which is amazing. I like the color. I think it fits with my couch. And there's my heater and my kitchen again. So you can see it's like really small room. And then I got two uh, carpets. Apparently they were made to hang on the wall. But I like them like that. They have like birds and cherry blossoms and that on them. I can't really tell what these birds are. But I also got a smaller one with a peacock. Yay! And now we will go right into my bedroom over there. So we are now entering my bedroom through this door, and there's a little stair there. So I gotta be really careful with my camera. So, the first thing you see is, well, me in a mirror, but I was really talking about my 1940s vanity table, which is this awesome thing right here. Then, there are sitting some uh, perfume bottles on it. Most of them are vintage from an antique mall but some of them are from ikea i got some brooches and makeup stuff sunglasses hair flowers and some um 1950s women's hair magazines yeah right in front of my vanity table i got this kind of cubey thing um where i can sit on while doing my makeup. Um, then there's my bed. It's kind of a 19th century style, but it's all new. Um, I think it's a little small, but my parents wouldn't have me let me have a big one. Um, but when I will be moving in with my boyfriend, we probably will be having one that's wider and in the back you can see one of my stuffed animals sitting there yeah i'm such a child then i got this thing where i store some of my clothes on um i don't really like it that way i really really need to have a proper closet or which would be even better um an entire room for my clothes <laughs> yeah then here's what I call my closet right now it is horribly ugly. But I could put on some winter style curtains and it's making it look a little better but not much. There's my washing machine. And here we can enter my bathroom. You guys, this is my bathroom. I don't think it's really that interesting. But I'm gonna show it to you anyways. Um, the color scheme is pretty much like this grayish color of the wall and purple and pink. The only things that don't really fit in there are my towels. Here I have a mirror. And then on the wall I got some uh, little pin-up postcards. There's the first one. And then there is another one. And there's the last one. Um, on the other side of the mirror I got some little shelves. I like these. 1950s 
bathroom style decoration things that you would hang on the wall but they're all new. Um, I got some pink rocks on the floor and there's a scale which is a vintage too but I think it's from the 1970s unfortunately but I still like it and it used to belong to my grandfather. There's my shower, there's my thing, sink, there's some of my beauty products and there's my shell shaped bathroom wear which I like a lot too. There's another mirror over there. And that's pretty much it. I hope you liked it. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. And see you next time. Bye bye.